In the dimly lit chamber, where shadows clung to the walls like lingering spirits, Jasper the Conquistador stood, an embodiment of calculated confidence. Her eyes, sharp as a falcon's, bore into an invisible horizon, a glimmer of malice twinkling within. Across the room, Aaron Sawyer stood tall, his presence a bastion of unwavering conviction, his gaze fixed on Jasper with a serene intensity. Jasper's voice, a velvet blade coated in honeyed malice, cuts through the silence. Ah, Dylan. Jasper begins, her words dripping with the venom of manipulation. His intellect is indeed impressive, but it withers in the face of power and influence. In this realm of conquest, only the ruthless ascend. Aaron's voice, a river of tranquility amidst the tempest, carries the weight of centuries of wisdom. Power bereft of virtue is but a hollow crown, Jasper. Aaron counters, his words resonating with an ethereal clarity. True progress emerges from the soil of righteousness and compassion, not from the barren wasteland of deceit. Jasper's smirk widens, a flicker of darkness dancing in her eyes. Righteousness alone cannot shape destinies, Aaron. Jasper retorts, her voice a symphony of seduction and treachery. It is the bold and the cunning who inscribe their names upon the scrolls of time. Aaron's gaze remains unyielding, his voice a beacon of unwavering resolve. True greatness transcends the lust for power, Jasper. Aaron declares, his words echoing with the eternal truth. It is found in the depths of humility and the embrace of divine purpose. A ripple of agitation crosses Jasper's features, swiftly masked by a veneer of arrogance. Your ideals are but a facade, Sawyer. Jasper scoffs, her voice a taunting melody. A feeble attempt to veil your weakness in the robes of righteousness. You speak of enlightenment, yet you shun the allure of dominion. Aaron's presence radiates with a serene strength, his voice a soothing balm amidst the storm. Your arrogance blinds you, Jasper. Aaron rebuts, his words cutting through the darkness like a gleaming sword. True enlightenment is not found in the pursuit of power, but in the surrender to divine grace. A defiant gleam ignites Jasper's eyes her demagogic nature bearing its fangs. I am the Messiah, Aaron. Jasper proclaims, a thunderclap of defiance. In the grand theater of existence, I shall dictate the course of history. Behold, for the game has only just begun, and that, Jesus of Nazareth you worship shall bow before my dominion. And so, Amidst the clash of ideologies and the tumult of the ages, Jasper and Aaron stand as titans, locked in a timeless struggle between light and darkness, righteousness and tyranny. As the echoes of their words fade into the ether, the stage is set for a battle that will resonate throughout eternity, a testament to the enduring conflict between the forces of good and evil, and the triumph of divine grace over the machinations of mortal ambition.